Mr. Skill, you are an agricultural engineer with a rich experience in the field of development. You are the founder of IDE International Network, which supports African civil society in their struggle for quality education and better health in African schools. If I understand correctly, you advocate Artemisia Annua against COVID-19. Beware. Today, there is no scientific proof that Artemisia annua taken alone treats COVID-19. Hence, in good conscience, one cannot today advocate the plant to treat the virus. But I urge that research be conducted to verify its potential against COVID-19. Why this plant? Artemisia annua is an amazing medical plant. It comes from China, where it was identified first as a wellness plant and then against several infectious diseases. A document found in the grave of a Chinese doctor who died 168 BC lists 52 diseases that he treated with the plant. It was used to eradicate malaria in China and in several European countries until the First World War. More recently, during the Vietnam War, the Viet Cong soldiers were decimated by malaria. They were treated with a plant with the results you know. This success motivated pharmaceutical companies to produce artemisinin-based combination therapy, ACTs, based on artemisinin extracted from the plant. The ACTs are recommended today by the World Health Organization against malaria they have reduced the incidence of the disease by more than two-thirds. They remain, however, too expensive for the cure to be equitable and sustainable in poor countries. Moreover, it is a bitherapy, a medication comprising two effective components which have started to suffer from resistances. It is therefore important not to confuse Artemisia annua, the plant, and artemisinin, one of its chemical components. Indeed, this plant consumed in totem is a genuine polytherapy, rich of many active compounds. Some researchers list more than a dozen effective against uh, malaria alone. It is, in fact, a versatile antibiotic of sorts, as has been demonstrated by a great deal of international research. It is also superior to chloroquine because it has no side effects. How do you explain its multiple beneficial effects? The plant is of the aster family, which includes many medicinal plants. It is particularly rich in essential oils, antioxidants, flavonoids, and several compounds that strengthen the microbiota, the intestinal flora. In addition to a high concentration of zinc, which is known to fight infections, it has multiple therapeutic indications by the presence of more than 200 active molecules, uh, like, for instance, uh, LDL cholesterol lowering, anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory, cholagogue by its bitterness. Its immunostimulant activity is under study, as it seems that not only does it stimulate the production of T lymphocytes, it also judiciously modulates the inflammatory reactions that follow an attack by antibodies against a microbial agent, avoiding the ensuing tsunami of cytokines. It is furthermore rich in vitamin A and E, known the first to reduce mortality due to viral infections, and the other as an antioxidant. Anecdotal anecdotal success stories of cures of, against arthrosis, cancer, etc., by people who have used Artemisia annua abound, and more and more people are taking it regularly as a wellness, well-being tea. But then, why isn't it used more? Unfortunately, WHO still requires more research before authorizing its sales against malaria, and current European legislation prohibits its trade. The USA, Australia, New Zealand, and China, of course, 
allow its sales, but in Europe, only the Netherlands, Luxembourg and Switzerland officially authorize it. Belgium, France and Italy, by chance countries whose pharmaceutical industry produces anti-malarial drugs, have formed Belfrit, which oppose its sale in Europe. However, many companies sell it on the internet, and you are allowed to plant it in your garden, where I can assure you it grows very well. Let us come to COVID-19. Artemisian received a lot of publicity following the statement by the president of Madagascar that it is a medicine against the virus. What do you think? Today, we cannot certify that Artemisia and Anua taken alone cures COVID-19. But there are many arguments in favor of research into its potential against the virus. One, research in China in 2003 showed that Artemisia Anua had some efficacy against the SARS coronavirus. Two, the Chinese are curing the victims of COVID-19 by combining classical Western treatments with plants such as Artemisia Anua. The Malagasy report, in fact, having cured some victims of the virus with a mixture of 62% Artemisia annua and 38% of two other plants. Several African heads of state have even ordered the portion for their country. Three, it cures several viral diseases, but I shall not here list them because for many, scientific verification is still ongoing. Fourth, and perhaps the most importantly, it has several chemical compounds in common with other plants known to be effective against COVID-19. Two sterols, quercetin, luteolin, chimferols. Hence, even if against COVID-19 today, Artemisia annua is used only in combination with other plants, the hypothesis that the plant would also cure COVID-19 or at least avoid complications of the disease is quite credible. In fact, the prestigious Max Planck Institute in Germany is launching research on the use of the plant against COVID-19. And WHO has announced that it will support Malagasy research to verify the effectiveness of their mixture. This represents a real breakthrough. Unfortunately, these two initiatives seek to define patented products that would be administered as injections, i.e. products that are expensive and involve practices that do not, they do not take into account the existing health traditions in poor countries. So, what are you asking for? We ask that research be conducted to verify whether the immunostimulant and anti-inflammatory capacities of Artemisia annua used alone and administered as tea could help prevent COVID-19 and avoid its serious complications. A French NGO has developed a fairly simple protocol that IDE has verified by an internationally renowned epidemiologist and with few adaptations, the research could deliver its results within a few weeks. Such research would cost around 500,000 euros, an insignificant amount compared to the billions of dollars needed to find a vaccine, which, according to specialists, would anyway not be available uh, before at the earliest in 2021. Compared to this research for a vaccine, in addition to its lower cost, research of Artemisia annua offers several advantages. The plant has a broad medical spectrum and could therefore be effective even in the event of mutation of the virus or against other virus. It has no side effects. In the USA, it has GRAS status, generally regarded as safe and it cannot be patented, patented and would therefore be available to all at a lower cost and sparing us these sordid transactions among countries that want to be served first. But I repeat, at this stage, these advantages remain hypothetical and require research to confirm the potential of Artemisia annua against COVID-19. 
Where can Artemisia annua be found? Currently, stocks are exhausted in Belgium and elsewhere in Europe and in most of the United States. And to my knowledge, only the Portuguese government has encouraged its production. But if research is carried out quickly and the results are positive, production could still be launched during the 2020 growing season. And as the plant is very productive, one can supply 125,000 people with one hectare, the European population could have sufficient quantities available for preventive use by, say, November 2020. So what conclusion could one draw at this stage? Traditional Chinese pharmacopoeia does not directly treat a disease, but it gives the human body the means to fight an infection. It is therefore as much preventive as curative, and it is appalling to see how our medicine, our media, and our authorities remain conditioned by the interest of the big pharmaceutical groups, which are only interested, of course, in products they can patent. Artemisia annua is one of the jewels of the Chinese pharmacopoeia. It offers a highly efficient countermeasure against several diseases, which at the time when budget deficits are exploding, should be of interest to more than one government seeking to reduce the cost of their social security. It is possible that research on the effectiveness of Artemisia annua against COVID-19 will yield negative results, as was the case with chloroquine. At least we will then know its limitations and the people promoting it will be able to reserve it for the many other diseases it protects us from. However, if it is used alone and administered orally that proves to be effective against COVID-19, which no one can rule out at this stage, then it would allow all of humanity to better protect itself against the kind of devastating pandemic, pandemic we have just experienced. The investment to be made in the proposed research, therefore, seems to us to be amply justified, and we urge our authorities to carry it out rapidly. <laughs>